Welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer, and today we're reviewing the D-Link DMS106 XT Unmanaged Switch. Now, in case you don't know what these are, an unmanaged switch is a way to connect devices via Ethernet cables, um, usually pretty high speed um, way of connecting things. So it's essentially wired networking. You can also get managed switches. And the main difference between the two is that an unmanaged switch is very much plug and play. You plug in the ethernet cables to this device, you plug in the included 12 volt uh, power adapter, and those devices will talk to each other. There's no settings, there's no menu, um, that's it. A managed switch, on the other hand, is the polar opposite. You get lots of customization. They're a lot more expensive usually, and will include security features and the like that you will not get in an unmanaged switch. That being said, the DMS106 XT does have a little trick up its sleeve to get you a little bit more um, customization than you'd usually get but we'll get to that in a minute. So that's the sort of cliff note version of what a um, unmanaged or what an unmanaged switch is. This particular one costs around 180 pounds, um, though I have seen it for less. So that's sort of the price range that you're looking at. It looks pretty good. It looks a bit like a router, if we're all honest, an access point. Um, but when you pick it up, you'll notice it's actually very heavy as it's made out of pretty much solid metal. Um, it's really nice actually, it feels super premium as a result but there is a good reason for the use of this metal case, and that is that this is actually fanless, so it's completely silent when it's operating. That's really handy because it means it won't annoy you if you're um, working next to it, um, but more importantly it's just sort of a nice way of, of removing a point of failure as well, so this should be even more reliable um, than you might expect. On the front, you have a light bar. Now, the light bar is usually white, um, though this has a turbo mode. Um, and when you flick that on, you get a very cool blue and green um, effect, RGB effect. On the back, um, most importantly, you have the five ethernet ports. You have a button on the far corner which to switch those LEDs off in case you don't like them. You have the turbo mode switch, and then you have the 12 volt power adapter. Now, this switch actually has six ethernet ports. Five of them are 2.5 gigabit ethernet, which is already very fast, but the sixth is actually 10 gigabit ethernet. Now, 10 gigabit ethernet is pretty much the gold standard at the moment, especially in terms of consumer hardware. You will not find many devices um, with a more than a 10 gigabit ethernet connection, but it's great to have five 2.5 gigabit connections as well. So, D-Link are really giving you a lot of options in terms of how you connect devices. Now onto turbo mode, because I've made you wait long enough. Turbo mode is um, really cool. If you switch it on, not only do you get some funky lights on the front, but it will actually prioritize each of those six ethernet ports um, to give you um, basically a, a little bit of management of the switch. So one through five, are um, tiered, so level one, the, sorry, the first port has the highest level of priority, then the second ethernet port has the next highest, then the third has the next highest after that, etc. But the sixth port, because that is also the 10 gigabit port, has the same priority as the number one. Now, as I was saying, unmanaged switches are incredibly simple, they're plug and play, and this is the quick start guide, and the quick start guide basically has no words in it, and it's just a picture showing you what to connect. And you do see the logic here very quickly, so the port 1, they're suggesting you connect your router to, or your access point, i.e. your internet connection, um, because that all has the highest priority, and obviously if you're, if you're, for instance, giving other devices internet through this switch, then that's really useful. Then for the second one, they're suggesting you connect your um, computer to to it, your PC, then the third one, your gaming um, console. So again, it's just to make sure you have the strongest and best connection. And for gamers, that's absolutely the way to go. Now that 10 gigabit port, the main focus here really is to connect a um, network attached storage device or NAS, uh, because they are most likely to have high data throughput. And that's where you'd want that 10 gigabit connection, because it would mean, in theory at least, that four users could connect to that NAS um, via 2.5 gigabit, which is really fast, as I said. So a lot of flexibility with this switch. Now, I did test it out, as you'd expect, but there is a little caveat here. I usually like to test all the features of the devices I am reviewing, but in this case, I have no 10 gigabit ethernet ports. 
I'm very sorry. There's nothing really I can do about it. No 10 gigabit Ethernet devices, rather. Um, so I've tested this in 2.5 gigabit. I had three devices connected to it, and it worked flawlessly. Um, but I couldn't test 10 gigabit. Uh, when I do, I may do a follow-up video, if I remember to. Um, but I have no doubt that D-Link is indeed delivering what they're saying, and that the 10 gigabit port will do what it says. Um, but they're just a minor caveat. So overall, the D-Link DMS 106 XT is a really high quality consumer orientated unmanaged switch. It will allow you to connect multiple devices via Ethernet. You have the six connections. Um, you also have the LEDs on top to tell you that they're connected when they are. I forgot to mention that earlier. It feels super premium due to that metal fanless construction. Um, and it's super simple. All you need is the 12 volt power brick, which is included and a couple of ethernet cables and obviously some devices and you're off to the races. Um, so hopefully you found this useful. I think, um, I think D-Link's done an interesting thing here. It would look just as good in an office or rather like a home office as it would um, in sort of a next to a gaming PC due to the cool design. Um, and it does what it says and that's pretty much all we can ask for. So I hope you found this uh, short review useful of the D-Link TMS 106 XT. If you have any questions about it, pop them in the comments section below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, you can also give it a thumbs down. Um, though don't give it a thumbs down because of the bell that you can hear. My cat has joined us for this review and um, out of frame. Um, <laughs> but if you haven't already, please do subscribe as that really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.